going on YouTube back at it again you already know what's going on today something very special came in today that I've been waiting for for almost two months well, it's technically been two months I'm pretty sure you guys been waiting too but I mean pretty sure you guys aren't all that excited about it but uh, my coilovers came in mm-hmm it was supposed to arrive, I guess, Thursday, like I said it was, but, you know, I was like, it's probably going to arrive Friday. So it changed the, what's it called? It changed the status. So when it changed the status, it said that it was going to arrive Friday. And I was like, okay, sweet, sweet, you know, it's going to arrive Friday. But then, no, I check again Friday morning and it says delivery pending and it doesn't have any information on it. So I'm like, the fuck is going on? And I was like, whatever, I'll probably contact them tomorrow. And so tomorrow, which is today, Saturday, you know, it said it was in Roseville still. And I was like, shit, I'm not going to get it for another couple of days. But anyway, it came in today. I'm happy. Let's go check it out. All right. So here we have it. Spanner wrenches, the ruler, or measuring tape, whatever you want to call it. An Allen key to lock the lower collar right here. A thank you card. Sticker, two masks, but I gave one to my mom. Certification, sick. Of course, instructions manual. So, these springs, I already measured them. They're all at seven inches. Now, according to them, they told me that we're supposed to have, in the front, preload as soon as they're the new total length should be six and three quarters of an inch. The rear preload should be set snug to the spring perch and should not exceed an eighth of an inch. Yeah, but I emailed them and then they're saying, they said, for an example, six and three eight, six, ah, oh, bleh, excuse me, six and three quarters in the front, six and seven eighth of an inch in the rear will be the total height of the spring once preloaded. So. Give or take, that's what we're supposed to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get all that together right now. So I don't have an extra hand to record me as I'm doing it. Plus I don't know how long it's really gonna take cause you know, it's my second time actually adjusting coilovers. I got someone here with me to uh, record. <laughs> anyway, do me a favor to hold this so I can properly show the rear suspension. So this is for the rear part of the coilover, assumingly so because it's the longest. But so usually the springs, they say they are about seven inches long. I measured all of them, they are seven, seven inches long. And so for the rear, you wanna do it at least one eighth of an inch. So you got seven inches, which is this line right here. I don't know if you, I don't know how well you guys can see that due to the camera. And there's two notches or two lines. So it'd be like one right here and then two. So technically, if you have like a really, really good ruler, that would usually measure out like how this one is. You can't really fucking see it, but it literally has every single fucking line. The front, see, they are about seven inches long. Okay, now it's seven inches long, so it needs to be a quarter inch, which is like right here. Everyone should know what a three fourths is, so. <laughs> Let me get to it. It is the next day. Sorry for that awkward cut yesterday. Um, today we're finally gonna be installing the coilovers. This may be a multi-part video due to the fact that I wanna say that I wasn't really as prepared <laughs> because I had to go to the hardware store to go grab some more bolts for like, I guess the mounting points for the speed sensors and the uh, brake, brake lines. I'm pretty sure they gave me more in this of the Goodridge ones, but I just wanted to be sure be safe anyway. I got all these bolts sorted out for each and every coilover. That's how being the passenger driver. Now my main concern is this top mount intercooler. I know you guys are probably saying you should have just got the aftermarket one. No, 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 no. I know, but you know I'm on a budget. This is my old one. This is my semi-used one from my brother. This is from a 2004 or 2005 but i don't know maybe i want to say it's a different size compared to that one 
I don't know. I'm trying to get it in as much as I can, but maybe I just didn't heat it enough. But yeah, that's that's the old one. So now, got to install that. Got to take off the downpipe for smog. Install the brakes, brake lines, calipers, all that other stuff. It's gonna be a very eventful day today. Hopefully, you know, knock on wood. We don't run into any problems. Because, I mean, even if we run into problems, it's gonna push the date even farther. And I need to get an alignment. I need to get smogged and I need to get tuned. So three things I need to get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep up the car and get back to you guys when I'm done. And also, I don't think I'm gonna be showing you guys every step of the way, like how to do it. Cause I mean, come on, it's a GD chassis. I'm pretty sure everyone would know how to do it. It's kind of self-explanatory, but I'm gonna get everything all prepped up, go step by step on what's done, what's not, depending if I remember to pick up the camera. So be mindful of that for me. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Look at who decided to fucking pull up. Ah, clean ass bug eye. What's up, bro? What's happening, man? Go ahead and park it on the driveway right there. It'll be good. But those are 17s, right? Yeah. Okay. has like less than a hundred K on this thing. He got super lucky. Keep going. Keep going more. And you're good. Man, look at these Yankees too. Yeah, uh, sick. They're finally in guys. Coilovers are in. My calipers are secured. Fastened in everything. The strut bar back in. Just look, the, look at that color combo, boy. Green, yellow, blue, pink. Uh, I don't know what to call that. But anyway, guys, I, like I said in the last clip, I went to town. I was hammering these out, you know, I was getting things done as fast as I can, but then, you know, in the slow process, I would say, just to take the time to do it, do it right the first time. Um, the reason why I took all day too is because I ran into some problems myself, because with that being said, the first time I'm doing ball joints, I was being paranoid. I didn't know what was going on until I really figured out what was going on. Uh, trial and error, that's all I gotta say. As long as I got it done by the end of the day, all that matters so i got it done you can tell i think the front brake caliper torque spec for these uh calipers are like 88 foot pounds i'll correct it when i'm you know editing the video and then the rears are 48 so all of these are done they're all torqued and ready for phase two tomorrow um i'm a complete mess tired learned a lot and also adjusting the coil over Oof. it's not my favorite thing to do because you would have to disconnect it from the knuckle but i mean it's too late now to change my mind so as you can see there's no bottom locking collar where you're able to adjust it or the extra perch whatever you want to call it but this collar right here and loosen it up and you have to take it off the knuckle and spin yeah right but anyways i put on the wheel and my fitment it's looking it's looking pretty cool other than the alignment being really bad give or take um one thing too that i'm pretty concerned about is since the hyperco springs are so and so probably soft or maybe it's the damn I didn't, I didn't mess with the damping yet, so that could be a big role in why it's so tucked. When I put on the wheel with the spacer in the rear, it fit flush. Now, 
when you jack up the car and you compress it until the chassis starts to lift, it was damn near tucking underneath. So I'm going to do a lot of trial and error adjusting the height, which is a pain in the ass because you know all coilover setups are usually different. So I couldn't really get a I couldn't really get an example of another car, unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna call it for a day. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, this is going to be a multi-point video, a multi-part video. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know call it a day. I'm done. I'm happy with the way it's at. So that's all that matters.